What are some of the 3D trends that you've been seeing a lot that we can expect to see in 2022? 3D is becoming more and more available and more and more uh, easy, easy to get into. I see a lot of uh, companies like Maxon with Cinema 4D and, and Blender uh, doing a lot, a lot of great work in making it accessible and making those tools easy to use for everybody. More and more people get into it. Back in the day, it was like you had to be like a 3D artist or like a pro VFX artist. Today, anybody can do it. And more and more people are, are doing it. And they're, they're using it not uh, to do 3D art. They're using 3D to do art. And, and I think there is a big difference there. What steps do you think I could take? Uh, maybe something a bit more people like me who don't really know what they're doing are kind of, it's kind of scary. It's kind of daunting. You have to make a choice there. And this choice is like, which tool will you be using? Because you're not going to learn all the software. I would probably go with Blender. First, it's free. And and it's open source. Yeah, I'll probably choose Blender and Unreal Engine.